Well, on my bike ride last night, I went into a wood. Normally, a way I wouldn't go in, but I've seen people park cars outside that gate. And the Forestry Commission complained about them doing it because they can't get the truck through. Which is why it's, why it's, why it's, why it's, why it's there, but there is a, it is open and um, there's a pathway. So I presume it's, it's all legal because that wood, you can go into it. But I got hopelessly lost. And I must have been walking around pathways for five hours. And obviously I'd, I'd followed a bike track. I thought, well, if there's a push bike track down here, it must be popular. And obviously I'd made another track, but then with the two tracks somewhere else and I'd got completely lost. Because I thought, well, the two tracks, those must be mine, but I couldn't see footprints, so I don't know. Because I was pushing the bike. And eventually I came to a, a sign. It's a, it's um it's like a um, <coughs> similar to the lightweight walk, but not the lightweight walk. It's like that, and obviously the signs are there, and I remember them because I did it when I was a kid. And actually, there was a sign that was there was a sign, and the only way it could lead was onto onto the next gate when it said there, oh, you, you're not you're not allowed on this land if you trespass, and it's it's fat, it's something estate. It was a farm. It wasn't an estate. And that's the thing, he shouldn't have put that there. But then, it probably is. An illegal immigrant from another country, he'll have a bit of money and he bought that farm. And the fact that's what people say to me, the farmers, they're really awkward, they can be a right nuisance. And the thing is, they don't know the law because they're not from this country and they don't seem to under understand the public rights of way law. That was a public footpath, I was allowed down it. I'm not being awkward like um, protesters, I'm just an ordinary person. But that's the thing, that sign pointed to that, to, to that footpath, so I was on it legally. It's him, it's him who's illegally installed a huge metal gate that's electrically operated. I just lifted my bike over it and climbed over it. I mean, I didn't break the law because I was going down a public footpath, but he doesn't seem to realise that, or he doesn't care. But that, I used to know one, <coughs> know someone who was in mental health care and they were very ill. And their job, was they worked for the, for the electricity board as it was then. And they had to go and persuade these awkward farmers to let them on the land to repair electricity cables. They were foreign farmers. They'd come, they're probably illegal immigrants and they don't understand the law. But that's the thing. I mean, I didn't break a law there because he's blocked that, that, that public right of way. And actually, I, I'd uh, walk round and round in circles to the point where I was about five miles north of where I went in. And I wanted to be south. I could, it was at least five miles north. I got out, I climbed over that gate and I instantly recognised the road I, the road I was on. I, I knew it. I knew it. I know it well. I, I did check because it just well it was dark and it was wet and I couldn't. I didn't quite recognise it, but I came to a part of thought, yeah, that's it. That's that's the one. Yeah, me and my mate used to play in. And I went. I went up up the hill, which was really exhausting. I walked up the hill there, because there, of course, is the um, signpost to my favourite mower and um, and the village that I know well. So obviously, somebody, some of these people, they're illegal immigrants, and it's them who are breaking the law. Yeah, they aren't just poverty-stricken immigrants from Africa and the the, the um, Eastern European immigrants. They're from places like America, and they're very, they have a lot of money. Or oh, they've, they've worked in America, but you know they've probably fiddled the tax and stuff. So yeah, I mean, he has no comebacks really because he, he's an he's a, an outlaw, and I'm not. 